dear students in this video we are going to solve the problem from laplace transform the topic is convolution theorem question using convolution theorem find l inverse of 1 over s plus 1 s plus 2 solution So now using convolution theorem, we find the value for that. So L inverse of 1 over S plus 1, S plus 2 equal to L inverse of, you split the term into two separate terms. Here there are two terms are there. You split them into separate. 1 over, 1 over S plus 1 times 1 over S plus 2. Now again we split them in the, with L inverse. So L inverse of the first term and L inverse of the second term. So that is equal to L inverse of 1 over S plus 1 star. Star means convolution. L inverse of 1 over S plus 2. Here using the operation of star or using the convolution theorem, we are going to find the value. Now I said it's a definition of the plus inverse transform well inverse of 1 by s plus 1 that is equal to here plus 1 is there so you take minus 1 minus 1 t e to the power of minus 1 t i give the formula in the description box so plus 1 is there so i'm using e power minus 1 t star or conversion here plus 2 is there so it is of the form e power minus 2 t now we are going to apply the formula for convolution. Now multiple both you get minus t. So e power minus t star e power minus 2t. Now you know the formula of convolution. So by convolution theorem. f of t star g of t equal to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u into du so we apply the same method here use the previous step see that f of t that can be written as f of u e e e of u integral 0 to t this f of u equal to e of u so second term is e power minus 2t that can be written as e power minus 2 into t can be written as t minus u into du okay there are two terms are there e power minus t e power minus t plus t check it so e power minus t so e power minus t can be written as e power minus u just t can be written as u there is no other changes Second term, e power minus 2t, that can be written as t of t, can be written as t minus u. So, I write this format in the du. Next, you are going to multiply the term inside here. Multiple 2 with inside, you get integral 0 to t, e power minus u times e power. You multiply this 2 inside, you get minus 2t. Next is minus, in the minus plus 2u into du. Now you split them into two separate terms. The first term is e power minus 2t. The second term is e power minus 2u. The reason is e power m times e power n equal to e power m plus n. Now if this is of the form of addition. This is of the form of addition. You split them into two separate terms. So in the next step you can write this as equal to integral 0 to t e power minus u e power minus 2t e power 2u into du now we are going to integrate with respect to u so without u terms are treating as constants here check what are the terms are u here u is there here also u is there here u is there so we cannot take these terms but see that this is no u term so you treat this as constant and take outside so, in the next step, we are taking e power minus 2u, sorry, 2t, integral, 0 to t. The remaining, you copy the two terms. 
e power minus u e power 2u into du equal to e power minus 2t keep outside integral 0 to t now again we apply the same formula e power m dot e power n equal to e power m plus n because the base are same these are the base are same so we are adding the powers same method here base are same so we are adding both minus u plus 2u so equal to e power minus u plus 2u into du equal to e power minus 2t integral 0 to t e power if you are adding both you get u into du now you are going to indicate the inside value e power u of integration what is the value of e power e power u integration of integration of e power x is equal to e power x if you differentiate the e power x in the top you get 1 you put it in the bottom so the same way integration of e power u equal to e power u the same term again you differentiate u that's differentiation is 1 so put it in the bottom that is equal to e power u by 1 equal to e power u therefore the integration of this term equal to e power u only so e power 2t is outside e power negative 2t is outside after integration you get e power u the upper limit is t and lower limit is 0 now i am going to put the upper limit e power the t place i am putting first u u place i am putting t next is minus in the place of u i am putting 0 the lower limit so e power 0 that is equal to e power minus 2t into e power t minus e power 0 that is equal to 1 so finally we get this value again you multiple the outside value inside in each and every term first term and second term so now we get after multiplying equal to e power minus 2t times e power t second term e power minus 2t here i multiple the each term first term second term now we get here again check that the base are same they are same so we are adding the powers e power m dot e power n equal to e power m plus n the same way you are going to add e power m plus n you get equal to e power minus 2t plus t minus e power minus 2t now we are adding you get e power minus 2t plus t you get minus t so that is equal to e power minus t second term minus e power minus 2t therefore we get the answer l inverse of 1 by s plus 1 s plus 2 equal to e power minus t minus e power minus 2t that is the final answer here i give the inverse laplace transform in the description if you want you can check the formula there thank you